And how do uh, you how do you use that stainless steel and transparent metal and still keep that large truck at the same price as a Model Three? Right. It does not make any sense to me. Right. Do, well, what's crazy is the 500 mile range version is 60 grand. You can't buy a Model S for 60 grand. Nine, yeah. Or 60 is it 69 69 nine, grand? Yeah. Okay, 70 grand. Yeah. So, but still, 500 miles of range for a 70 grand EV is unprecedented. And think about it, the aerodynamics of this car are awful. So they're either stuffing an absurd amount of batteries, but either way they're doing it. The cost of those batteries must be pretty cheap. So. I mean, I, I think there's, the, of course, I'm obsessed about, you know, what is this new battery tech that Tesla's developing with Maxwell Technologies? And I think whatever's in the semi truck is not in the Model 3 or Model Y, at least for that high end version, because we're talking about a $70,000 car that goes 500 miles plus. I mean, this is setting a totally new bar for, for electric vehicle performance. Yeah. And like that, in an, like just isolated to the Cybertruck, that's super exciting. But thinking about how that can extend to the rest of Tesla's lineup is, something I think people are not really catching on to yet. Because we've got the $70,000 Cybertruck that's a huge vehicle going 500 plus miles of um, distance. Like yeah. how does that apply to Model S, Model X, Model Y, Model 3, yeah. and, and Semi? And we, yeah. didn't, we didn't get a lot of information for kilowatt hours, drag coefficient, mm -hmm. uh, how heavy the vehicle is. Is this alloy like super light? How large is the surface area of that skateboard compared to a Model S? So instead of being able to fit a max hundred to I think Elon said it would go up to like 120 kilowatt hours for a Model S and be maxed out there What can you do with that truck? And if it's a lot higher than that How do you for the base? How do you keep that at forty thousand dollars? There's right. no way it's got to be close to that uh, What what do you think the base kilowatt hours? Kilowatt for, hours. Yeah for the forty thousand dollar one for so Model well, we're, 3 we're it's like, about 50. We're getting like 55 in the Model 3, 50, 55, whatever it is and then yeah. Yeah, so this has got to be thirty percent more, roughly. I don't know. We gotta, think it's like we gotta do some investigating or... on that, but it's got to be yeah, it's got to be significantly more for the same price. Which again is further excitement for you know what that does to the Model Three. Can the Model yeah. Three then end up being thirty percent cheaper? Like I don't know. The cost doesn't make sense. Do you think that they're just keeping that low? You're not sure if they're actually gonna be able to hit that forty and or they'll just upsell you because the value uh, the value proposition of the $50,000 vehicle for the spec upgrade that you get is so much better that people are just going to pay the extra 10 grand especially when you factor in what's mind if it's blowing that much is better, like better though do you think it's that much better it's 50 miles of range a little it's more 50 towing. miles i think the dual motor is big like dual I mean, motor the zero to 60 goes from thing. six and a half seconds to yeah, what but like four like four and a half i think four and a half that's huge but not everyone cares about the zero to 60 agreed and you know six and a half is still relatively fast for a pickup so mm -hmm. i think that base model is, is super compelling by itself and you know ten thousand dollars is that's a lot for an upgrade um it gives you a lot more too but it's, i think both are are very, like, very compelling vehicles in and of themselves yeah but then obviously there's a huge jump when you go up to the tri-motor one tesla has some work to, to do to get that $40,000 price point though. Yeah. I think that is far more. Yeah. Well, so let's talk about exactly. that. I think the margins on that are not on lock. I, it's I far know, like, from a certainty but yeah, like, to hit that. Yeah, but I appreciate the audacity of them doing that because their original goal was to yeah. get a, fi a pickup truck under 50 grand. And I think they're definitely yeah. so gonna go wrong So that's why I'm like, I'm not as, like I'm pretty confident they'll be able to hit it. I'm not sure exactly what the path to mm -hmm. doing that is, but for them to come out with that price point, when they definitely didn't need to, like they could have priced that base price, that base vehicle at least at like forty four nine, yeah, if not forty nine nine, and people would have still been excited about it. Yeah, I think the two things yeah, that totally. people are underestimating, uh, one, just how much the price of EVs is getting driven down in the very near future. Right. Like yeah. before, it was way more than ICE vehicles, but then it would compensate because the lower maintenance and fuel costs, right, mm -hmm. would lower the total cost of ownership. But now it's starting to become equal to, and soon it will be even cheaper. And then factoring in the fuel and maintenance, the TCO is super low. Especially in this category of vehicles, like that applies yeah. even more. Than so like forty thousand dollars starting, and then they said take off fourteen thousand dollars over X time period for the true like TCO, and that brings it in line with the base, base. Ford One Fifty, yep. which sells over nine hundred thousand units a year. Just in the U.S. Okay, so, so the total addressable market could be huge, or it could be niche.